Hey guys, welcome back. This is uh, BJ from BJ Tech News, and uh, today's it's not really an episode. Uh, so today is a, is a cool trick, and uh, the cool trick is uh, Chrome Chrome OS Chrome OS. Sorry, and uh, actually getting Chrome OS inside a USB stick, and you can basically take the USB stick and plug it into another machine, boot from the USB stick, and you got Chrome OS. As you know, Chrome, Google, Chrome, uh, released their new Chromebook, and uh, there's been some. There's been a word that you can actually virtualize and uh, test it out. Uh, but now you can actually put it onto a USB and then take it everywhere and plug it in and boot it. But the problem is, is uh, there's been testing on certain hardware specs. So I'm going to show you this link right here. This is the developer's hardware list. So this is where uh, they give you a breakdown of what hardware they tested Chrome OS and you know which computers, which laptops work best with uh, the you know with the operating system. Like you know they got it looks like Asar is a huge, huge contender, and uh, Toshiba. They got Gateway. The Wi-Fi looks like it doesn't really work out for um, the gateway LT20. Ethernet works, TriPak works. So this is a cool list. Now, um, the requirements for this to work, you have to have at least a four gig stick. You know, memory sticks, USB sticks are really cheap nowadays. Uh, you could probably get a 16 gig for tw less than 20 bucks, which is great. Uh, I have a 8 gig Kinston. Um, USB. I was about to call it hard drive. Um, this little thing has so many names. You got flash drive, USB stick, uh, hard little hard drive, whatever. Um, now, from my understanding, there's two flavors of the Chrome OS. There's a lime version and there's a vanilla version. It's real weird. Uh, so this is the vanilla version, and this is the lime version. Now. From my understanding, is the Lime version is not up to date as much. They don't really update it. The last time they updated was on July of 2012. So there's a possibility if you use this, it won't work with the machine that you're plugging this flash drive in. So your best bet is the vanilla. Vanilla, from my understanding, is pretty up to date. The last build was on October 31st, which is not too far away, which is pretty good. That's what I downloaded. I will post this information on the description side on the, on this video so you guys can check that out. And the last thing that you need to do is you need to find a writer or a program to actually take that ISO or that IMG file that you're going to download and write it into this flash drive. Now I like to use the image writer for Windows which is pretty cool. Now gotta be careful there's two downloads you have a source and you have a binary um, I will recommend using binary binary is the best way to go okay I will post these four links at the bottom of this video at the description so you guys can check that out and let's let's go so right now what I'm gonna do is I already pre downloaded everything as you can see pre downloaded everything I have I extracted everything into this folder called Chrome OS to USB. I got my flash drive right here which I formatted into an NTFS format. I'm going to plug that bad boy in. Uh, let the computer read it. It's going to be the F drive. That's awesome. Make sure it's there. Make sure I'm able to access it. It's still being read. Excellent. So now the Chrome OS is pretty huge. It's about uh, 2 gigs. So give it some time for it to download. Uh, the Win binary is not a big file. It's only about 4.39 meg, so it's, that's pretty quick. Um, the only problem is it's the Chrome OS, but it's zipped and it's compressed into 289 megabytes. So again, it takes a while for it to download. So first thing you want to do, you want to start this up. Press yes on there, and put this right in the middle. And you want to search for your your image, you know, your Chrome OS image, vanilla. Hit save. Pick the drive letter. If you have more USB drives sticked in other than the one that you're going to stick in for, you know, to install the OS, 
probably not automatically it would choose the local USB now if you guys are wondering what that noise is I got the window open because uh, I do like the cool air but you know I'm wearing a sweater so that makes no sense so once you do all that stuff you hit the right it's gonna basically write into a physical drive can't corrupt the device holy moly are you sure you want to continue well, that's kinda scary uh, so I'm just gonna hit yes for it take the chance haha <laughs> uh, this is actually the first time me doing this so it's probably gonna take a while for it to be written and stuff um, probably at the very corner right there I'm going to post a small little video of actually taking the flash drive and uh, plugging in the flash drive into a virtual machine or a machine and uh, booting it up using Chrome so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and uh, I catch you guys later thank you so much hey guys so as you can see the writing the image the Chrome OS image completed and uh, as you can see a flash drive, the original flash drive, is stopped blinking, so that means it's good to go. Uh, I'm going to see if I could eject this bad boy. Eject. Awesome. And uh, I'm going to take it out. Yeah, same one. Uh, I have an actual Chrome, not a Chrome, sorry. I got an ASAR 1 laptop. Yeah. I do have one and I'm not a big fan of these little laptops because the processor and it's slow so I'm gonna plug this guy in I'm gonna turn it on I'm gonna do F2 on it and I'm going to check what is the boot sequence so I got a USB FDD flash uh, drive so hopefully it would pick it up oh no this is the one that we want Kinsting 101 this is the one we want so let's switch it let's go to I'm gonna press uh, F6 and F6 if you see F6 and F5 changes the value so it depends on it depends on what laptop you're doing is really different I'm gonna press F10 to save it, hit enter, and let's see what happens. Like, let's see what really happens right now. And as you can see, the flash drive is blinking. And there we go. I saw the Chrome logo, and it disappeared. Is it gonna work for this laptop? I didn't even check. I didn't even check if the laptop actually works with this operating system. I just picked up a random laptop in the home and see if it worked. Looks like nothing's happening. Looks like it's doing something. And there it goes. All right, got me a little worried there, uh, but no worries. I want to see if I actually boot into something. And uh, it looks like it's taking a while. I, again, it's it's a netbook. What you expect, guys? Can't get any sweeter than a netbook. The only the only thing about a netbook is, uh, you know, the flash drive is blinking like it's running. And it looks like it's finally booted. The best thing about a netbook is because it's small. <laughs> That's it. It's small. You can take it anywhere, use it on the fly. But having it for a primary machine, no way. I'm going to zoom, try to get into this a little bit. I don't know if you good guys can see it. But it actually says uh, Chronamium 24.0.1290. Blah, 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 blah. Vanilla, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And it looks like, you know, I'm at the configuration setup dialog box right here. So I just need to set it up. And that's about it, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. And I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.